So everything so far has mostly been centered around the idea of using objects. And you need objects to play a game. If you didn't have any objects, you would just be staring at a blank screen and nothing would ever happen. Well, the screen might be blank, but nothing would happen, put it that way. So objects are all about giving them variables, making extra events to control different commands, making variables interact with each other, and so on and such and so forth and so on etc i haven't exactly finished showing everything that there is to do with objects far from it and there's still some stuff that i really do want to show but the first thing that i'm gonna have to really show before that are rooms a room is basically what would be typically known as i guess a room is basically the area which holds everything in it so this is where you'll see everything. So as you can see, I've got this here. I'm moving it around and this is within the room. I can turn the grid off if I want to. I can change the size of the grid and the dimensions of the grid. I can put, I can create objects and put them on the level. I can put them just outside the level. I'm not going to do that just yet though. Objects without, objects without any sprites um, have this little question mark icon. They're basically invisible. Uh, you can change the settings, you can change the size of the room, you can change how fast it runs. You can change backgrounds and if you want to have tiles. Uh, you can have different views so that, say, if you've got a big room and you've got a playable character, the, the camera will follow the, ca the character across. If it's a shooting game, you might have the screen automatically scroll upwards at a constant rate. You might have all sorts going on. And you've got all these different controls of how far away the camera is and everything like that. Well, for now, I'm just going to keep it plain, you know, with a grey background. And in order to have an object working in the, in the room, you have to put it there. So, object control, I will put it there. It doesn't matter where it is, but as long as it's in the room. Uh, it can even be outside of the boundaries of the room, but it's still in the room, so to speak. It's just outside of the viewable boundaries. Well, so I can put that there, and that means that will that will exist. All of the variables that it contains will exist because that object is in the room. It's not visible; you can't see it. It it's not a character. It's not a wall. It's not an enemy. It's not it's not a life that you pick up. It's it's none of those things. But it's just there, and that's part of that. That's what a control object is, pretty much. Um, but there are other stuff I need to go into with objects that I won't do right now. But anyway, say if I I have this now, if I save the game and I run it, it's loading up. I have a room, so now I can run it. Game made with Game Maker Studio. And there it is. This is our game. It's blank because I've not put anything in it. I've put the I've put the object in, the invisible object without a sprite, and the reason you can't see anything, and even though we do have all these variables, we have ammo, we have health and stuff, they're just numbers in the background. You don't actually, they're not actually displayed. We can display them, but they're not actually displayed at the moment. So if you think of a game where uh, you have something that you know is there, but it's not actually displayed, like sometimes you'll have en enemies will have health so you have to hit them so many times in order to kill them but you don't literally see all the numbers of how much health they have and you don't see all the numbers of their attack power and stuff because they're in the background just like what i've done with that one there with that object 